everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. If you are a new subscriber, then hello, I am Rachel and I'm a mummy to a little 18 month old boy called Joshua. And if you're a returning subscriber, then welcome back. I'm back today with a video about all the sort of products that we use when Joshua is not very well and has a nasty cold. He is currently recovering from the world's worst cold. Um, and we really had to um, scour through lots of different products and try new things and go back to old things. And I feel like I've got a really good collection of products now that work really, really well. Um, and really help him out when he comes down with a nasty cold. And I thought I would share them with you because it is winter now and it's cold and flu season and the majority of our kids are going to catch a cold at some point. So I thought I would share with you the products that work or have worked really, really well for us um, the last few days when Joshua has been incredibly ill with, I would almost go as far to say as flu or m very mild flu because it was so horrendous. But anyway, I'm going to stop waffling and I'm going to show you what I've got. big product and the first thing that I have got is it this is a warm air humidifier and we bought this ages and ages and ages ago when Joshua had a persistent cough and we were trying to help him um, relieve his coughing at night and it worked really 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 well this is just by Vicks they are quite expensive but they are an investment I'm sure this was about 50 pounds but what this does is it lets warm air into the, or like a warm mist um, into the air and it just basically makes the room really, really humid. And the purpose of that is that when they get really, really congested, when they've got a cold, a lot of mucus tends to build up sort of in their throat and in their nose and makes them feel really uncomfortable and wakes them up at night. So the purpose of this um, warm air is to sort of loosen the mucus that gets caught up here and it sort of helps it to um, move back down the throat and to make them feel a little bit more comfortable at night time when they've got a really nasty cough or they're really snotty this is absolutely brilliant like i said they're quite expensive but they are an investment and your child is going to catch quite a lot of colds in their lifetime especially if you've got more than one then it's not so bad you can also get cold air humidifiers um ours is warm air i think the difference is that if your child put their hand over it but we keep this out of Joshua's reach so that really never happens and we've been putting this on every night um, for the past few nights because he's just been so congested and so poorly and this has really really helped he hasn't actually put it down he hasn't actually woken at night during um, having this cold so that is a first and I massively think that that humidifier has helped towards that the next thing that I have got, and this is a pretty standard one, and it's just Calpol. Um, we have been reaching for Calpol quite a lot recently just to bring down temperatures and just to give him a little bit of pain relief. I do try and hold off on Calpol as much as I can. Um, so he tends to have it sort of half an hour before bedtime just to make him feel a little bit more comfortable when he sleeps. Um, it's the sugar-free and colour-free one. You can get these in most supermarkets. It's really inexpensive and most people have got Calpol in their cupboards anyway but we've been reaching for cowboy quite a lot um and also um cough medicine as well with cough with colds come coughs and again at night time this can wake them up quite a few times and it can be really really uncomfortable so we have actually got the cowpaw um cow cough infant syrup and we've tried quite a few cough medicines because of Josh's persistent cough when he was younger and this is by far my favourite it is the best cough medicine on the market um, it tastes of apple so they take it really really well and it's the only one that I feel like when you give them actually relieves a cough so we've been reaching for that as well the next thing that has been an absolute must have um, the last few days is a digital ear thermometer and this is um, one by the company Brother Max and the why I like this one we've had this for ages in the cupboard we bought this when Josh was a baby because we knew we'd need it and this actually does um, 
their ears you can put it on their forehead and do their forehead and actually there is a little stand that you can put it up in like that and it will um, test the room temperature as well it's had loads and loads of awards but we've been reaching for this just to keep an eye on his temperature because he has been so under the weather and so poorly and if you haven't got one of these i'd really really invest in it i'm sure this is about 37.50 um which is quite expensive but there are a few more on the market that are a little bit more expensive i will link down below everything that i can find for you but this has been a little bit of an essential just because you've got to keep an eye on their temperature when they're not very well because that's the first sort of sign of infection or something a little bit more sinister so we've been reaching for that quite a lot the next thing that we have been reaching for is um baby uh vapor rub this is just the if it'll focus is it gonna focus this is just the boots um mild baby vapor rub and just smells like vapor rub but a lot less strong and I've been putting this on his chest, on his back and on the bottom of his feet um, before bedtime and it just helps again keep his airways clear and to stop him from feeling so congested and so fed up and just snotty, it just stops the snottiness which let's be honest when we've got um, a horrible cough or a cold it's horrible when your nose is blocked and you just feel really icky so we've been reaching for that again along the same sort of lines congestion wise relieving snot all that glamorous stuff we have got the um Steramar, and this is just like a nasal spray um we also have tried the calpol one that's really good as well um you can also get nasal drops we have tried them they don't seem to be as easy to administer as the nasal spray and you just sort of put it up their nose press down and it shoots up a saline spray into their nose and it unblocks their nose they don't really like this well josh doesn't really like having it done but it works i don't know how it's some sort of sorcery but this stuff unblocks his nose in minutes and it's absolutely brilliant it's really easy to keep clean um it's really easy to administer and it's really quick so by the time he gets upset because he knows it's coming it's already done that's my phone and we have been reaching for this all the time again because during the middle of the night when he's all snotty and can't breathe through his nose this just relieves it in minutes and it's just so so good next thing that we have been reaching for non-stop are good old basic cotton pads josh has been so congested and so bunged up and poorly that he's actually been weak his eyes have been weeping because he's got that much snot built up somehow that it's actually been coming out his eyes as well as his nose and his ears even his ears it's been coming out of it's just been horrendous the um cold that he's just had and so we've been reaching for cotton pads all the time just to keep his eyes clean um wipe them away throw them in the bin it's a lot more hygienic and it just keeps his eyes from getting sticky in the morning as well we're finding that he wakes up and his eyes are actually glued shut because of just the amount of mucus that has been coming out so we warm these in some warm water and just sort of try and open his eyelids again and also whenever josh gets poorly he gets a really 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 sore bum so we've been using these to just sort of change his bum with rather than baby wipes because they're just a little bit more gentle and they're really cheap and you can get them from anywhere so we've been reaching for them and the last thing that we've been reaching for all the time um i don't know if you can get this um in the shops but this is the eco baby essentials and it's for baby bottoms um it's basically a sorbum sort of oil and it is not like a cream it's very much like olive oil on your hands and like i said joshua's bum always gets really really sore when he gets poorly and Things like Sudocrem, Metanium, Bepanthin, all those sort of um, nappy creams have just been stinging every time we put them on his bum. So what I've just been sort of doing is putting a little bit of this in his bath um, because it's an oil so it can go in his bath. And also just rubbing a bit on my hands and then rubbing it on his bum. Because it's not a cream or anything antiseptic, it doesn't sting when you put it on their skin like Sudocrem would. And this has really helped and when babies have got a sore bum they're very reluctant to let 
you sort of put any cream on down there and this has just been really really easy to apply i've been absolutely loving it it's just lavender and chamomile oil it's low allergen it is completely organic um it's basically an alternative treatment for nappy rash and it's been working really 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 well for us while well, he's been poorly and he's had a really sore bum and that is everything that we have been using while Joshua's had a really, really nasty cold, um, almost like flu. I hope that this um, video might help a few of you out there if your little ones are starting to come down with something and you're wondering what sort of things to buy or invest in. And if you liked it though, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I will see you all again soon, guys. Bye!